children to be there for me when I'm older, when I get as old as her. And, and when I say be there for me, I mean pay for me when my husband isn't around to support me anymore. I'm not trying to be one of those old Chinese ladies who recycles for a living. That's not my destiny, okay? Old Chinese ladies, they don't give a f They got no shame. They're like, I'm just gonna recycle, go bald, go to the park, do this They do that because it's a free activity <laughs> for them. They do it in their, their big ass V Stiviano visor, their Darth Vader Tomb Raider Boba Fett helmet. They wear that to protect themselves from their arch nemesis, the sun. They're in a contest to see who's gonna burn out first. Old Asian ladies and the sun are like the Tupac and Biggie of longevity. I also decided to have a kid because uh, I'm only 33, which I know is not technically high risk, but my body was starting to show signs of change. And it, and it scared me. Like, I'm, I'm only 33, and my body is not as wet as it used to be. <laughs> it's very demoralizing, okay? Do you remember when you were 18 years old and your was just sopping wet all the time? All the time you just took it for granted that you could just reach your hand down your pants at any given moment. You'd throw up the peace sign afterwards and there would be that snail trail in between your fingers. Oh my God, it was so juicy. You could just blow a bubble wand with it. Just, ah! I slime you, I slime you, go I don't know what kind of mother I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm, I'm 33 and I did have to get a little bit of science involved when trying to get pregnant. And a lot of that is most likely my fault because when I was in my 20s, I ate plan B like Skittles. <laughs> so my uterus probably looked like a smoker's lung. <laughs> and I found out that my progesterone levels were alarmingly low. So then I had to take these hormone pills that were suppositories and push pop them up myself every single night. And then at my writing job at Fresh Off the Boat, I would be storyboarding in front of my coworkers. And then at some point, the pill would inevitably dissolve and melt into my underwear. And I had to act like everything was okay when everything was clearly not okay. <laughs> and then a side effect of the progesterone was that it made me extremely itchy. So then I had to find ways to discreetly scratch myself underneath the conference table and then resist the urge to immediately smell my fingers afterwards. I want to be able to smell my fingers when I want to smell my own fingers. Housewives, they can just scratch and sniff all day long. They just vacuum, scratch, sniff, they make a sandwich. They watch Property Brothers, scratch it. What's cracking? Mm. Every time you scratch yourself, all you can think about is, when can I smell my fingers? When can I smell my fingers? When can I discreetly find a way to? <laughs> smell my fingers. Nature made you urgently curious to protect you, because you got to check that it's all good in the hood. If it's too funky, you need to see a doctor. Your fingers are your first WebMD.